Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel, Software Tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to edit audio in Video Studio Pro X7. So there's a few things I'm going to show you today. There is how to cut and delete and move around parts of the clips. I'm also going to show you how to add filters into your audio. And I'm also going to show you how to increase and decrease the speed of your audio. And then of course, there is the volume as well. So first of all, I'm going to start off with cutting and deleting and moving the clips. So I recommend at this point that you go into the audio sound mixer. You'll then see that you can now see the waveform of that sound or music, whatever it may be. So basically what I'm going to do here is just cut it and then put a fade on the end. So you can see, now that we can see where all the audio is here, you can see that there is sound here, but there isn't sound just there. So I want to cut the clip just before that sound comes back, but after this part. So you use the scissor tool here, which is the split clip, and then I'm gonna discard that second part by pressing delete. Now because we've cut it before that sound comes back in, and it seems to have gone here, we can add a fade to this. So I'm gonna left click on it, come out of the audio sound mixer and then put a fade out effect in. So all you do is left click on that and it will now have a fade out. If we go back into here, you can see it's been applied. Now you may want to uh, lengthen or shorten how it fades out. So if you want it to fade out really quickly, just at the end, you can grab that box there and you can put it right to the end to about there and then you'll see that it will only fade out through that part. If you want it to gradually fade out, you can drag it right down here if you want to, and it will start to fade out here, and of course, it'll be quiet by the time it gets to the end of the clip. So it'll be gradually fading out through this part. Now the other two things I wanted to show you, if I just left click on it again and go to options, is the speed and you can decrease the speed and increase the speed by changing this slider. So if you obviously put it this way, you will increase the speed of the audio. Bear in mind, if you do increase the sound, then it will go quite squeaky. And if you're gonna do it to someone speaking, they will sound a bit like a mouse. And if you do it really quick, you won't even be able to hear what they say. It'll be completely inaudible. However, if you decrease it, then you can make some funny sounds as well. Um, if it's music, of course, you can increase and decrease the speed of that as well. So it's good to just have a play around with here until you get it to what you want it to be. The second thing was the audio filter. Now there's quite a few filters here which you can choose from, and they all have different jobs. For example, there is an echo. This will apply an echo onto your sound. So obviously you wouldn't have an echo to begin with, but if you apply that by pressing add, this will then make it sound like you're in a tunnel. Now there's loads to choose from here. Like I say, they all do different things. Um, some will amplify it. Some will add a long echo, long repeat. Some will mute it, some will clean it up. And you can see from all these, hum remover, noise fader, loads of different things to choose from. Like I keep saying, it's good just to play around, add some, if you don't like it, remove them, until you get the right sound. It really is just a case of playing around until you're happy with it and perfecting your project. So hopefully that has given you a good insight on how to edit audio in Video Studio Pro X7.